We have a serious problem. What's up? I don't dime anymore. You're gonna tell me a problem. And I'll say no. You're gonna offer me money. I'll still say no. You're gonna appeal to my better nature. And I'm gonna say no. Because I don't have one. Hola, mis amigos. Hoy me encuentro con la bella actriz Ruby Rose. ¿Cómo estás? Hi. How's it going? Welcome to Miami. Thank you. It's going good. Great. I saw that you had your first experience with Cafecito Cubano this morning. How was that? It was good. It tasted <laughs> amazing. I was pretty into it. But then I was like, like short of breath and kind of like my heart's like racing a little bit. I think I need to like ease myself into, into it. Into it. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. It's, it's, strong, it's a lot. Right? Very. Yeah. It's a lot to take on the first day. Excuse me? I said, a Megalodon. Now talk to me about this film, The Meg. You're Australian, you're a surfer. Have you ever had an experience with a great white? Because they're very yeah. prevalent out there. They're very yeah. prevalent out there. They are. I, many experiences. Um, you know, you'd be surfing and you'd look and you'd see a fin and you'd hope that it's either an upside down surfboard or it's a dolphin and sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's a great white shark. <laughs> But, you know, I never had a fear of them, and I still don't. I love them. I think they're such beautiful creatures. And, you know, sometimes we would have to get out of the water, and other times they would just swim away because they're not really interested in humans. They really don't bother unless you bother them. No. Now, being in the water for this film, was that okay with you since you are, like, yeah. a surfer and stuff? Yeah, I loved yeah. it. All the water stuff I loved. In fact, the original script had me sort of going into the water once. And then once John saw me like just jump in the water and do all the stunts and have such a blast with it, we got the new sort of script and I was like, wait, I'm going back in again? I'm going back in again? Um, because I enjoyed it so much. But you play the engineer here. Yeah. So were you able to learn a little bit about the Megalodon um, mm -hmm. through this film? Yeah, I learned a little bit about the Megalodon. More I learned about things like the thermocline and the Mariana mm -hmm. Trench and what really is the bottom of the ocean and the ecosystem and because she's a scientist. Um, and then engineer-wise about the technology we were using like with ballast, knowing about ballast tanks and oxygen levels and how to bring them up on the screen and so sort of more like that scientific type of stuff. Right. Um, with the Meg, we hadn't studied, like my character wouldn't have studied it because we didn't think that it was still alive. We thought it was extinct. Right. So I learned more about the Meg after the film. After. Now, I have to congratulate you, Batwoman. That is amazing. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Did you ever think growing up that you were going to be in such an iconic role moving forward? No. <laughs> I mean, I definitely, for whatever reason, as a kid that came from a small town and had no money and a single mom and all the things, uh, I definitely don't know why I always believed in myself enough to pursue acting and pursue entertainment and thought that I would do something and mm -hmm. hoped that I would do something great. But I think now I've surpassed any possible dream I could have had when I was a kid. Kid. That's amazing. I wish you nothing but the best. I love doing Orange is the New Black, and I hope to see you continue growing with, with that woman now. Thank, now. thank you so much. I appreciate that. Are you saying we opened up a super highway for giant sharks? No, just a Meg. I'm gonna make this thing bleed.